If you're an aspiring or beginning entrepreneur, how do you go from not knowing what to do, not knowing where to start, not having enough time or not having enough money to invest to just making just a little bit of money, a little bit of extra money? I'm going to break that down in this video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mario. I'm a naval engineer, uh, 22 years in the Navy, turned podcaster, turned author of two books, one of which is The Blueprint to Building Your Online Business, a course creator for the Online Business Startup University. I created something called the BYOE Framework. BYOE stands for Build Your Online Education or Build Your Online Empire Framework. It's from this book, and I'm going to explain how you can start from nothing to having something that you can even make just a little bit of extra income, just turning your ideas into an online business that can work for you. So how can you get from zero to 100K? I want to know if you can relate to this. And these were some things that I've gotten on some of my channels. I thought it was interesting because I hear this all the time. Andy says, I work a crappy job. It's not in my field. I have a degree. I've applied everywhere but I don't have any takers in my field. This is not it. I'm building someone else's dream. I want to build my own. How do I become an entrepreneur? Where do I start? There's another one from Trinity. Trinity says, I work 10 to 12 hour days. I don't have time to work on a business. Who has time to give a bunch of hours after work? Got an hour? I'm going to break that down. And Carlton says, you need 100K minimum to start a business. If you don't have that, you have no shot. You have zero chance. You might as well hang it up. If you have people in your circle that are saying things like that, run. You don't need this type of people around you when you're building your business. And I'm going to break it down to why what they're saying is valid. It's legit concerns. But in today's world, it doesn't apply. Anybody can start with no money and a little bit of time. These are the type of questions and comments that led to me creating the BYOE framework. And it's only four steps, really, really three steps. I'm going to jump to the whiteboard and break this down. I'm going to show you how simple it is. And the questions we're going to be answering is one, where do I start? Two, how do I find the time? And three, where do I find the money? Now, let's jump. Let's jump down to the whiteboard. Okay. So there's three steps, but the first one is to create content so that could be i like youtube we'll say that okay so yeah youtube or wherever you want to do whether it's podcasting whatever blog then we have we have a product that can be an online course could be an ebook or a program or a membership okay then you got what I call going to the lab, okay? So you go to the lab and you test your funnel, okay? Then once you test your funnel, that's a terrible drawing of a funnel, but then you have a funnel that converts. Y'all, are y'all getting how easy this is? So, so in this process, you got somebody comes to your hub, what I call your hub in this framework, right? They find your video, and from your video, you have an opt-in. Actually, between between here and there, you have you have a lead magnet. Okay. Now, in my example, my lead magnet is this book. And after they consume your lead magnet, they get a few emails and then you pitch your online course, right? All of this is in a funnel that you test. You throw some, either some advertising dollars to it or you can just, uh, if you don't have any money, I jump in DMs and start messaging people with a maybe a generic message that speaks to their, what we call like the pass method, problem, agitate, solve. Tell them a the problem, hey, are you an aspiring this? Do you want to learn this? If so, or have you faced this? If you want to start that without these problems, then go here. Okay, that's how you do it. And then after you tested that funnel and you find out how to get the most conversions, then you got then you got this. And then it's a it's a circle. You still every week you create content, you send them an email with that content, and they enter this circle all over again. And you're just 
building your email list during this time. I want to break something down and talk to you a little bit about something else. We just learned the BYOE framework. Now, how do we turn this into $100,000? Well, I'll show you. When people get on your email list and they get here, this, you, you can charge, let's just say if you started with a $200 course, right? Then that means you would need, you would need 500 people to buy a $200 course. Or you can charge $400 and you need half that. You need 250. Are y'all seeing how the math adds up? So if you're following the steps inside that book, it's going to show you how you can make content that they want to consume and create a course that they want. Because the places I tell you to go look for information, these people are already telling you, I want this. I need the answer to this. And you just solved that problem. That's what an entrepreneur is, right? Let's say you went up to $900, right? Well, if you want to make $100,000, that's 1000 So you need to do that 100 times pretty much. And that's like $90,000. But you get how the math works on this. And in this process, once you get here to perfecting a funnel, and you know you can convert at a certain percentage, once you get there, you know that I just need to send this amount of people and this amount of people convert. So now you figure out how many people, you reverse engineer it and figure out how many people do I need to send through this funnel so that I can get this percentage to convert so that I can make this amount of money. That's how you do it. That's how you get from zero to 100K. So now that we got that broken down, BYOE framework, this is how, this is how it looks. People come to your, to, to your content, it's quality, and I break down how you know what they want to learn or how, how you figure out exactly what they want without guessing. It's also inside this book on how you can do that. And then you get them on your email list. You do some email marketing to them. Send them to your product. Some people will convert. Some people won't. And then you continue that circle, right? Somebody opted in for this book. And they sent me an email. Well, first I asked them questions to figure out what to make for them. And the questions are, if you can solve anything in your business, what would that be? What is the biggest challenge that you need help with? Right. And the and his response was, what would be my daily activities for six months as a beginning entre entrepreneur? And so I sat back and I thought about that question. What would I do as an entrepreneur in my first six months? And that prompted me to write a new book, to come up with a new course, to come up with a new offer, a new product that I'm going to be Introducing to y'all, it's called Firestarter. All of that to answer one question. So going back to the first question, where do I start? Create content. Create content. Figure out a time that you can do it consistently. If that's bi-weekly, do that. First step. So that answered the question. Remember Andy said that he had a crappy job. He was an engineer. He had a degree, but he couldn't get a job in his field, and he wanted to know where to start. That's where you start. You create content. Second question or con comment rather from Trinity was she works tw 10 to 12 hours a day. Where would she find the time? One hour a day. I can record four YouTube videos in an hour, about 15 minutes each. And the video is not going to be 15 minutes. I hit on the, the points, the main points of the topic. And then by the time I get done editing it and you remove all of the dead space and the ums and ahs, but once you remove all of that, the video is about between five to eight minutes long. Okay, so you can get four videos one one hour. Next day, you take one hour and you edit them. The next day, I post the edited version. The next day, I would take an hour and I would chop that up into into bits. And that's where I would post on any external platforms you have. And with that's one piece of content one hour a day. Now you can find one hour a day if you stop scrolling on your phone, or if you stop watching your Netflix show, put it off for an hour and focus on your business. You can find the time. And this last guy, Carlton, said, you need 100K to start. If you don't have 100K, don't even, don't even try. Just hang it up. How much money did you spend doing these last two tasks? You spent no money, but you spent one hour per day recording a video, editing a video, chopping it up, and posting it. 
that did not cost you any money. It costed you time and you can do it with your phone. You don't have to have a fancy camera or lighting. All that to say that you don't need a lot to start your online business. Now, I got a few questions for you. Was that helpful in terms of implementing this framework? Was that helpful in in implementing this framework and understanding how it works? Are you getting how simple and easy this is? Do you feel like you learned at least one thing that can move you forward in your business that you can take away from this video? Do you want to learn more stuff like this? If you do, then I encourage you to download this book. I want to give it to you for free so that you can read about this framework and start to apply it to the things that you want to do in your business. If you're interested in that, you can go to bit.ly forward slash coached biz like you see on the screen. And I'll also leave the link in the description because nowadays there's so many tools that you can use to start your business. There's no excuse for anybody to not start turning your idea into an online business. It's easy. I just broke down how easy it was to you. This framework that we talked about is going to be inside and there's going to be some other tactical things to help you implement this framework inside your business. So what do you do next after you do this? How do you test? How, there's all kinds of things. There's examples of ads that you can run. So you need to get this book to get started. If you are actually interested and you have the desire to turn that idea into an online business, then you need to go download that book. And I made it free for you because I really want you to win. And listen, if you like this video, you will most definitely love my Profit to Power series. It's a three, four part video series, and it kind of breaks all the stuff down that gives you some actionable tips that you can take. So, so make sure you watch that set of videos. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace, blessings, and prosperity.